Hi, my name is Eero Ylivakuri, and this is a review of a Praxinoscope that we just bought from uh, Greenwich. Uh, there are a lot of sites which sell these sort of Vintage Victorian Age Praxinoscopes, and if you Google for Praxinoscope and buy, then you'll end up buying one of these, possibly. Uh, this one is made by a company called Hemisferium, which is a Spanish company. And when you get it, it's pre-assembled and you get these sheets, which are based on the classical models, which came with the original package, packages back in the days, 100 years ago. Not much has changed. Uh, the construct looks similar to what it was, but it's actually made out of plastic. Uh, the only brass parts about it are the knobs in the top and then the stand. But the animations work uh, right out of the box. Uh, here you can see how the classical girl animation is working. Look at her run, that's nice. Uh, all of these sheets are branded with the Hemisferium logo, which is the company logo, which is sort of annoying. You can see it now, <laughs> and that, that bothers me. Uh, but that, then that's not the reason why I cannot recommend this. I cannot recommend this machinery because it's the construct of it. It's, it's poor craftsmanship. You can see it here in the knob, if I give it a little bit of a spin, uh, you can notice that it's wiggling around. And it's not just a knob, it's the entire structure, it's, it's wiggling all around, and that's just making me feel unconfident then about the craftsmanship. Um, this is a plastic casing, all of the pieces are made out of plastic, and you cannot disassemble it in any way. I tried it after making the video, and I took it apart, and I uh, tried to take it apart, and it's welded in the middle and it's uh, glued from behind and the only way that you can fix things is by breaking the gluing of it and even the screws are sort of uh, they're welded in or they're not screws they're something else nuts something like this and that's not the, a problem also i mean if you get something like this you keep it in good order but the problem is that it's not it's not it's the it's the mirrors the mirrors that are kind of the essential part of the device, they're not really mirrors, they're plastic sheets which reflect. And for some sad reason, they're tinted brown, so that it has more vintage appeal, possibly. And you can see that these plastic sheets have gaps, and that's annoying as well. But the, the worst part about this plastic sheet is that, uh, uh, because they're glued into some sort of structure quite poorly, they, they bend the images, they distort the images, and that makes me feel less confident about the entire device. So please don't buy this, get the schematic somewhere and build your own. Thank you very much. The animation that you saw in the end is something that we're working with Hayes, and uh, hopefully we'll, <laughs> we'll have the time and skills to make one of these ourselves. A Praxinoscope Early Cinema.